Kona is a new implementation of K3.2. You can get a copy of the interpreter at github.com. K is a popular tool for electronic trading. It is typically used for high-speed databases. The language itself may seem unusual, especially if you have not been exposed to APL or other array-based languages. Learning an array-based language may be the single largest performance gain remaining for an expert programmer. Today we'll cover two simple examples, how to compute a factorial, and one way of determining whether a given year is a leap year. Here I've loaded my K console. Let's start with something simple. We can also add a scalar to a list. or add a list to another list. We can also make a list of lists. and add them together. We can assign values to variables using the colon assignment operator. We can add a list of numbers together using a plus operation for each additional number, or we can use a single plus operation with the over add verb to add an entire list of numbers together at once. There's no reason we can't chain this with other operations. The enumerate verb gives us a list of all numbers less than n. It's perfectly natural to chain any two types of operations together. In this case, we show how to add 1 to the same list we had generated before using a different method. Now we have an easy way to add up all numbers less than n. If we get rid of the zero term and replace addition with multiplication, then we have an easy way to compute a factorial. It's also possible to store the verbs we've chained together in a variable. We can now perform the operation of the verb using the variable, but this is less common than another method that we'll see.
Using functions, we can explicitly refer to our input with variable names, in this case, x. Here is our factorial method again, this time contained inside a function. We'll use a similar kind of function to determine leap years. A year is a leap year when it's divisible by 4, unless it's divisible by 100. You can ignore that it's divisible by 100 when it is also divisible by 400. This rule sounds complicated, but it hides a simple parity problem. To build a leap year function, we'll need two more verbs. The not verb flips values in the Boolean sense. The mod verb computes the standard modulo operation. This tick mark lets us take the modulo of several terms. We now have enough to build our leap year function. Negating the remainders gives us Boolean true values corresponding to the divisors of x. We can add these Boolean true values and mod by 2 to compute the parity function. It may take a moment to see what's going on. The method relies on the fact that 4 is a factor of 100 and 100 is a factor of 400. For more on Kona, please see the site on github.com.